Greetings and welcome. This is the Bad Boy Herbal SSR of the Bad Boy Herbal.co.uk. And today, the Bad Boy Herbal SSR, ancient astrologer, I am going to take you through an example and show you how ancient astrology and astrological symbolism is embedded into the very fabric of our reality especially in nature the bad bray herbal is a of the bad bray herbal the code at uk so let's look at this let's start off let's look at nature let's look at trees all right now as you can see this is a tree all right and look at the color of the leaves yeah the leaves are green and they're attached to the trunk or the actual trunk of the tree is attached to the ground all right so to me this blatantly looks like fertility all right lush green leaves and green vegetation all around it this corresponds to fertility and the only reason the leaves are able to be this green color is as they interact with the sunlight they are able to produce produce this green pigment within the leaves themselves all right so when i look at this and i look how the tree's branches are stretched up into the heavens, stretching out towards the heavenly disk called the sun. This tells me straight away that it corresponds with the earth signs of the zodiac. Okay. Moreover, it corresponds with the sign of, yes, Taurus. All right. To me, it corresponds with Taurus because astro astrologically speaking, especially when I'm doing horary, the color green and Taurus always represents ground level. And if you have lost a hidden item outside, yeah, and Taurus is implicated to indicate where this hidden, where this lost item actually is, then it usually denotes that this item is hidden amongst green materials or green leaves or green grass all right so when you look at these leaves it corresponds to fertility taurus is ruled by venus all right and venus being synonymous with fertility the fertility goddess all right aphrodite all right hathor heteru all right so to me these green leaves correspond with taurus and they correspond with the earth signs of the zodiac but more so Taurus and Venus and fertility. All right. Now, Taurus, this sign here, as you can see, this glyph, it is representative of a bull. What does the bull actually represent? It represents Apis, the heavenly bull coming through and heralding the arrival of spring. Okay. And bringing in fertility. In ancient times, the bull was used to till the land. All right. Which is why the bull was not even the bull the cow was used to till the land and the symbol of the bull was used to represent the fertility all right and as you can see these horns here in the older pictures you can see th there's a heavenly disc between the horns of the bull apis this heavenly disc represents the disc of the sun all right and fertility and ultimately it leads back to hathor or heteru as you can see on the right this is Hathor or Heteru and she has a heavenly disc between her horns and a lot of the time she was drawn or depicted with the head of a cow all right this is Anupi on the left Anupi or Anubis all right so that is how these green leaves actually correspond with Taurus and fertility and Venus and Aphrodite and Heteru and Hathor, all of that, all right? Astrologically speaking. Now, the reason why I'm going through all of this, all right, is because in order to become adept at reading horary charts, especially finding lost objects using astrology, it's not good enough to know all of the technical technicalities of reading a chart. All of the left brain technicalities that you need to learn about reading a chart, i.e. where the moon is, what the moon's separating from, where the planets are, what planets symbolize, what part of the chart, and what planets symbolize, what area of the question, all of that. That's all, all, all well and good, but you need to learn to 
marry up the symbolism you see around you and look at how that is intertwined within the chart itself. You need to use your right brain and marry that with your left brain, the symbolic side of yourself as well as the logical side of yourself, marry those two together and translate that into an understandable language. This is the reason why everywhere I look, I can see astrological symbolism and correspondences and it enhances my ability to read charts. So again, the heavenly bull, Apis, with the sun disc between his horns is representative of Fertility and Venus and green trees are representative of that as well, all right? Even when the trees are stretching their branches up to the sky, into the, into the sky, going towards the heavenly disc, what they're actually doing, it actually looks like a representation of the bull's horns. The branches could be a representation of the bull's horns, and then you got the sun in between, like in this picture right here, all right? Now, what happens next? What happens usually during autumn or fall, yes, what happens to the leaves? They change color, don't they? You can see the leaves changing color and they change to an orangish color. Now, you should be familiar with astrological symbolism. This straight away tells me that it corresponds with the air signs of the zodiac, all right? And when the leaves actually change to this orangish color, yellowish color, that tells us as human beings that the leaves are getting ready they're getting ready to fall they're getting ready to fall through the air again it's yellow yellowish orange is what is the color that the leaves change into and then they fall through the air corresponding to the air signs of the zodiac however to me it more corresponds with libra than any other air sign reason being because when the leaves are green they are attached to the high echelons of, of the tree, all right? And then when they change to an orangish yellow color, they get ready to fall through the air. And when they fall through the air, at the point when they're in flight, they're not attached to the upper part of the tree and they're not attached to the ground. They're somewhere in between. Again, this to me again, seems like it's corresponding with the scales of Libra because it's not quite on one side or the other is in between there's a balancing act that's taking place as it's mid-flight in the air so to me it corresponds to the scales once again the scales have been tipped and that's the reason why the leaves are falling to the floor all right and libra yes is again ruled by venus venus fertility all right Libra is ruled by Venus, the same as Taurus, all right? However, however, the leaves have changed color and now they're falling to the floor, all right? As a result of the wind blowing and all types of weather conditions changing and causing the leaves to actually fall off of the leaves and down onto the ground below all right and then what happens next after that the leaves eventually hit the ground all right the leaves hit the ground and then they start to rot yeah the end of life decaying death all right rotting as you can see they eventually turn to a black color which corresponds with saturn father time all right it corresponds with saturn changing into a black color as it rots and reaches the end of life and the longer these leaves stay on the ground the blacker they become as a result of rotting all right and the return to the earth from whence they came yeah corresponded with saturn again all right so when you look at the whole process of the leaves being green and then changing yellow and then falling through the air and then hitting the ground and rotting, when I look at it, what I see is fertility, Venus, Taurus, and then they change yellow. I think air signs of the zodiac, Libra, falling through the air, tipping the scales, then hitting the ground, changing black and rotting. Saturn, Father Time astrological correspondences once you can look around you and see that 
ancient astrological symbolism is prevalent everywhere you look, then it will greatly enhance your ability to read astrological charts and interpret symbolism that can be found in everything and help you to marry both sides of your brain together and use the symbolic side of your brain with the logical side of your brain, marry them both together and translate into an understandable language and increase your vibrational frequency in terms of how you understand reality itself. All right. So that was just a short video. Just showing you how to look at the symbolism. This is the Bad Bray Herbalist Assar, ancient astrologer of the badbrayherbal.co.uk. I will be back. Stay tuned.